Today's step is focused on the right hand to learn to arpeggiate uh, on guitar. Arpeggio comes from a word that means to pluck the strings like a harp. And so we're going to learn today how to position the hand and to pluck the strings on the guitar using the index and middle finger. We sometimes just use the first letter, that would be I and M. And we're going to position the thumb on string three and to position the fingers above the second and first string. And then we're going to work on learning how to strike the string and get a nice tone and good follow through. There will also be a little bit of cooperation with the left hand to create a nice little tune. Okay. So let's get started, and I'll show you how to position your hand. First step is to find the position. That is probably the most challenging. What I recommend is working on getting your arm first over the treble strings. That'd be these three strings down here. We'd like this top knuckle to be over string two, and this top knuckle to be over string one. So there's a little bit of an angle in terms of the hand. It's not perfectly straight like this, just a little bit of an angle. Again, fingers are above the string and thumb is kind of pointing straight down into the sound hole. After you do that, what you want to do is first practice extending your finger and touching just the tip of the finger to the string. And then do the same thing with the middle finger on the first string. If you get too much finger, then you need to move the hand a little bit further away. So my thumb is here. I'm going to extend to touch that string, and then I'm going to let the finger come back. Do the same thing with the middle finger. Extend to touch the first string, and then let the finger come back. From this angle, if you were looking in a mirror, you see this one is over string two, and this one is over string one. Okay, so now, what do we do to strike the string? When we touch the string with the tip of the finger, right where the nail and flesh meets, we're going to push down into the string a little bit and straight across the string and follow through about two or three string lengths. And then we'll let the finger return back to the string. So the steps to getting a good stroke with index and middle finger, extend, touch the tip of the finger to the string, push straight across, and release. Extend, touch, just the tip. Follow through, pass two or three strings, and then allow the finger just to return. Same thing for the middle finger. Touch the tip of the finger to the string. It should be pretty straight at the tip. If it's too bent, it'll be, you'll be pulling up. So you want to make sure that you've got that and what I typically do, because my middle finger is longer than the index finger, is I have this part of the hand a little bit higher than this part, so that the middle finger has to reach further, and then follow through, and release. So the pattern that we'll be hitting, the thumb is going to be lightly touching string three, and the pattern will go index and middle. Index and middle, index, and middle. So now that you kind of get an idea what you're supposed to practice to get the right hand to be able to strike the string, get a good follow through and have it return, there's a piece of music that I'd like to introduce to you. It uses strictly tablature. We're still using tablature instead of notation because I don't want you to have to be thinking too much about reading music. The piece is called Jacob's Ladder, and you'll see that first string and second string. Zero stands for an open string, and numbers like one or two or three have to do with the frets. Set your left hand in position where the first finger is behind fret one, your second finger is behind fret two, and your fourth finger, the pinky, is behind fret three. We're not going to use the third finger in this, yeah? And we'll lift the fingers, and as you look at 
the piece Jacob's Ladder, you'll notice the first note is a second string open being played by the index finger. And the next note is on the first string, and zero means open, played by the middle finger. And then second string open. And this time you see a two, so you'll put the second finger down and you'll strike that on the first string, and then second string open. And that's the first full measure. Proceeding to the next measure, you see a three. Use your fourth finger for that one. Second string open. And second finger. And second string open. First string open. Second string open. On the, fourth, on the third fret. Second string open. And second finger on the first string second fret followed by three open strings on the second string. Okay, now I'm going to play it for you, and it's going to sound as if, as if there are two guitars playing. Okay, it's pretty cool. Here we go. And this concludes our next step, engaging the right hand, working on position, and a nice piece that sounds almost as if you're playing two guitars. Have a great week of practice. Try to see if you can spend about 30 minutes a day with your guitar. That will ensure that you will have continual progress. Best wishes.